taking care of Carlitos. Helping your husband manage his cholesterol. Scheduling mom's physical. And making time to take care of yourself, too. At Ultimed, we provide comprehensive health services under one roof, so you can spend more time caring for who matters most. Live fully and grow healthy at any age with Ultimed. I'm Doug Hopkins with SellersAdvantage.com, and I want to buy your house. I'll make you an as-is cash offer on your house within 24 hours. Whether it's a total fixer-upper or in perfect condition, SellersAdvantage.com is the easiest way to sell your house. When you sell your house to SellersAdvantage.com, there's no fees, no commissions, no banks, and no repairs. Just go to SellersAdvantage.com for a free, no-obligation cash offer 24 hours a day. That's SellersAdvantage.com. Kathy Farah and Jonathan Gonzalez, tonight at 11 on NBC4. NBC4 News at 6 starts with breaking news. And right now at 6, we do have breaking news rescued from the river. News chopper 4 overhead as rescuers throw a life ring to a woman floating down the L.A. River and then airlift her to safety as storms roll across Southern California. Hello and thank you so much for joining us. I'm Kathy Barra. And I'm Jonathan Gonzalez. Let's get right to Julia Dang. It was over that rescue in Studio City just as it was happening. And that was just a few minutes ago, Julia. That's right, Jonathan, and we'll leave with the good news first. The 35-year-old woman who was pulled out of the L.A. River here in the Studio City area at Ventura Boulevard in Laurel Canyon, she does appear to be okay. I'm going to get right to video of that heroin rescue. You can see it took at least two attempts to actually hoist her out of the water. We followed that city fire helicopter until it got to Northridge Hospital Medical Center and we watched as that woman walked out of the helicopter and then walked herself over to the gurney, climbed on, and then covered herself in blankets. She does, again, appear to be okay. Still unclear how she ended up in the water. We do know that LAPD and LA City Fire both responded with helicopters. Uh, the fast-moving water was going about 15 miles per hour it was not very deep, though. Preliminary reports indicate it was only about knee deep. We are still waiting for information about how she got into the water and, of course, how she's doing tonight. We are live overhead in News Chopper 4. Back to you in the studio. Julia, amazing. Thank you. The river was rushing after storms brought downpours, thunder, even hail to parts of our area. Let's take a live look outside right now at San Pedro, where we had a rainbow just last hour. Meteorologist Stephanie Omo joining us now with more on this storm. Hey, Stephanie. Yeah, these storms really packed a punch. It developed pretty quickly earlier this afternoon. It prompted a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings that has since expired, but we're still looking at some activity pretty scattered across the area. Let's take a closer look at some of these spots. So we do have this sound right now approaching the area of Tep uh, Topanga Beach where you see it's already impacting you Pacific Palisades where we're looking at a heavy downpour and also wouldn't be surprised if there's some spots of small hail with this system with that cell. Over in the area right near Irwindale, we're looking at some lighter showers there stretching down to West Covina right along the 10 on over into Montclair up into Claremont where we're looking at some heavier showers out this way. You see some of the yellows and the oranges, so we're looking at some moderate activity out around your way. We do have that activity continuing to slide its way to the southeast approaching Riverside County approaching Corona and also Riverside bringing in some of the light showers out in your direction as we continue in the next few minutes or so. We continue out toward the east where we're dealing with some stronger activity in the area right near Yukaipa. We have several lightning strikes and also we're dealing with some mountain snow continuing at this time. Now the good news as we continue this evening, the activity will continue to wind down. Stay tuned. We'll check out the future cast coming up here in just a bit. For now, back to you guys. Stephanie, thank you. The Dodgers now back from their season opening series in South Korea, but they brought a major scandal back home with them. Our Olivia Garvey is at Dodger Stadium with more on Shohei Otani and his interpreter. There's a game going on right now, but what did the team have to say before taking the field, Olivia? 
Yeah, Jonathan, Kathy, this is not what you want ahead of a very long season, especially a highly anticipated season with this Dodgers team. The players aren't talking. What they want to talk about is baseball. What they want to focus on is baseball, is playing these three games against the Angels, this freeway series that gets them ready for opening day, which is Thursday right here, their home opener at Dodger Stadium. That's what they want to focus on. They do not want to focus on the Dodgers. They don't want to focus on the Dodgers.